Hong Kong is a legendary city. With decades of hard work, the people of Hong Kong have transformed the place from a small fishing village into the Pearl of the Orient. Today, we still maintain leading positions internationally in our four pillar industries. Financial services, trading and logistics, tourism, as well as professional and producer services in terms of structure, scale, efficiency and quality. The intelligence and innovative spirit of the Hong Kong people are reflected in their various achievements. For example, scientific research has been growing on Hong Kong soil. In the past, Hong Kong people have won numerous international recognitions. For example, the project Hand of Hope, which facilitates stroke patients to recover their motor abilities, was awarded the Grand Prix in the International Exhibition of Inventions of Geneva in 2012. In 2015, Hong Kong people won again, with the same prize awarded to the transgenic fish Eleuthero Embryos Vivo testing method, which effectively promotes food safety and product quality. Another invention, Insight Robotics, that monitors and controls forest fire, was awarded Entrepreneur of the Year in the IBM Smart Camp, putting it in international markets as far off as South Africa and Canada. Hong Kong's outstanding research infrastructure and facilities have attracted world top academic institutions like MIT, Cornell University, and the Karolinska Institutet of Sweden to set up a base here. While we should be proud of these achievements, we must not become complacent. In the face of the great tide of the global innovation and technology, our excellent soil requires more irrigation in talent, facilities and resources. If we look around this highly competitive world, success in technology innovation always depends on government support for research in innovation and technology. Despite being one of the world's most prosperous cities, Hong Kong's public research and development expenditure has remained at only around 0.4% of GDP over the years, which puts us significantly behind 0.7% of the US and Taiwan, 0.8% of Singapore and South Korea, and 1% of Sweden. In terms of total R&D expenditure, Hong Kong is at around 0.7% of GDP, way below the US's 2.8%, Japan's 3.5%, and South Korea's 4.1%. Since the dawn of the industrial age, inventions in new sources of power and new products as well as innovative ways of organizing production and businesses have propelled strong productivity gains in many advanced economies. Let's compare the nominal GDP growth per capita in Hong Kong, Singapore and Shenzhen in the last decade. Hong Kong's GDP per capita today has increased by 61% compared to 10 years ago. In contrast, Singapore, which was similar to Hong Kong 10 years ago, has risen by 105%, well ahead of us. And Shenzhen, which was way behind Hong Kong a decade ago, grew exponentially by 271% and is now rapidly catching up. The situation begs reflection. To develop Hong Kong's innovation and technology ecosystem, we have combined the views of various stakeholders into three key points. First, university R&D activities should combine academic research with practical application to give rise to greater economic benefits. Second, academia, industry and the government must work together. Third, the government must implement geographical strategies and regulations that are timely and in accordance with global technological development trends. Our Hong Kong Foundation hopes that through a series of reform measures supported by different sectors, the government will be able to promote the development of technology innovation in Hong Kong in six particular aspects. First, the government should lead by substantially increasing its R&D expenditure. 
We recommend that the government increase public investment in R&D from 0.4% of GDP to 1%, so as to catch up with and even surpass other countries and regions. We also recommend that the government increase the Research Grants Council's endowment fund from approximately $23 billion to $73 billion, so as to provide significantly greater funding to competitive-based research projects. With the government playing a leading role, the business sector is expected to invest more actively in R&D, further increasing total R&D spending. Besides, many international studies have found that increasing R&D spending will inject new economic impetus and create more high-paid jobs. Hence, it is a long-term investment of best value. Second, reform the key performance indicators of universities and research funding mechanisms. In terms of resource allocation, the government currently provides research grants mainly through the University Grants Committee and the Research Grants Council. At present, the UGC evaluates universities' performance with indicators that stress their contributions to academic theories, heavily weighing the number of publications in leading international journals. We recommend that UGC adjust the key performance indicators in a way that will motivate Hong Kong's research talents to devote more effort to research projects that bring practical applications and far-reaching impacts to the economy and the industry. In fact, the UK has reformed the performance indicators of its universities to place more emphasis on research impacts on the economy, society and culture. The weighting of impact is 20%. On the other hand, RGC allocates research funding on a competitive basis. Competitive elements are good. However, the total amount of research funding administered by RGC is only around $1 billion per year, which is one-fourth of that of UGC, and its effect is relatively limited. Our Hong Kong Foundation recommends that all new university research funding in future be allocated by RGC through a competitive mechanism. We believe more competition makes greater progress. Third, prioritize innovation and technology. Strengthen collaboration between government, industry and academia. We recommend that the government provide incentives to encourage industry and university to closely collaborate with local and non-local startups. To achieve this, the government could consider providing more flexible, direct or indirect research incentives in the form of tax benefits, grants and funds, as well as loan guarantee. Singapore and mainland China both provide 150% tax deduction to business R&D expenditure. Why not make Hong Kong a bolder competitor by increasing its tax credits of R&D investment from the current 100% to 150% or even 200%? Fourth, the government should actively enact timely regulations to release market dynamics. Hong Kong is a globally renowned financial centre and to maintain this position, the government must have in place regulations that both support innovation and can appropriately manage risks. In terms of financial services, the US, the UK, Japan and mainland China have all adopted more proactive approaches, including enacting new regulations that target financial technologies such as P2P lending and crowdfunding to help resolve the challenges that startups often face when raising funds. Regrettably, Hong Kong is currently still at the research stage. Fifth, accelerate the development of Hong Kong as a smart city. We agree with the government's plans to transform Hong Kong into a smart city through providing city-wide free Wi-Fi service, establishing a spatial data infrastructure of Hong Kong, and expanding open government data and its use for citizens. Additionally, we propose that the government provide more convenient interfaces for users, so that young people can access these data more easily to develop new products. Finally, 
strengthen cooperation and ties with mainland China. Hong Kong has unique advantages in terms of its legal system, human resources, international vision, and geographical location. Combining these with the enormous market opportunities of the mainland market, especially Shenzhen, one of the world's leading technological supply chain networks, Hong Kong must establish its indispensable position in the internet finance arena in China and in the world. We recommend further strengthening research collaboration between Hong Kong and the mainland to complement each other. Today, technology innovation is becoming all-pervasive and is revolutionizing every aspect of life. Against this background, let us innovate, create breakthroughs, and work together to build an even brighter future.